Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hi guys and welcome back to Robocrace. In this tutorial, I will be explaining the code for the NFC board plus solenoid lock interface which we used in the previous video. If you have not checked that video out, the link can be found in the description. Without further ado, let's jump into it. The code that was used for this project is a slight modification of the read text example of the RF430CL library. On the top, we have included the wire library as the NFC board used by us is I2C based. Next, we add the RF430CL library. The Vitifox NFC board is based on this chip. The NDEF and NDEF underscore text libraries are also included as the data exchanged between the phone and the NFC board is of NDEF format. Next, we define the reset and interrupt pin. In my case, I am using GPIO 25 and 26 respectively. The library will incorporate this declaration automatically in this line. Next, we declare a password as a string object. Whenever the phone sends this data to the NFC board, our program will unlock the door. In the setup function, we are initializing serial communication at 115200 baud. We also have declared pins 2 and 13 as output pins. Pin 2 is connected to the onboard LED of the Vitifox Storm board and pin 13 controls the relay which actuates the solenoid. The rest of my setup function initializes the NFC tag and also sets the payload buffer. In my loop function, I have set pin 13 as high. My relay module actuates for an active low input. This if statement makes sure that the program only runs if the NFC board is connected properly and has initialized successfully. Here we have another if statement for error messages, in which case the NFC module will dump all the data it has in its SRAM. If the tag is read successfully, we decode the message received in this part of the code. If the imported data is of zero length, we dump the SRAM contents and exit out of the loop. Else, we decode the message and compare it with our set password. If they match, we blink the onboard LED for roughly 5 seconds and make the pin 13 low. This will actuate the relay and unlock the door. After 5 seconds, the pin will again become high. Last but not least, we have the function definition for the dump SRAM function here. Hope you guys found this explanation video useful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.